Hello and welcome to our van tour. So everything that we show you today is going to be linked in the description to make it a bit easier to find. So we're going to start off with the kitchen. Up here we have a sink with a little foldable tap and a little bucket, everything, just a basic sink. Then that leads to the water system, which is under here. So we've got a waste tank and a fresh water tank, and we just fill that up wherever we can. Then the way we power that is if you look down here, we do have a foot pump, which pumps out water. So it's a very simple, cheap, but effective way of getting running water. That moves on to the oven now. We've got a gas bottle under this seat here and that powers the oven. It's got an oven and a two hob. Oh, I'm wrecking joint. Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> then we've got Lauren's favorite little spice rack with mm -hmm. a little plant. That's not a fire hazard or anything. Bit of spatulas. Nice bit of storage up here for all, what would you call them Lauren? Uh, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Then over here we've got the expensive fridge. We didn't want to have to spend loads of money on it, but we did in the end. And it is good to be fair. It's a 12 volt fridge and it works well. Bit of storage up here and a charging station. This is where we charge. All the switches for the lights and fridge and gas and everything like that are up here. And then we have a bit of a charging point as well for laptops or phones. And that is... Oh no, no, it's not. We've got this secret little drawer as well, which has all your pots and pans and stuff like that and plates and everything like that in there. We'll now pass you on to Lauren, who will show you the seating area. Thank you, Tom, for doing the first half. That's a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> so here is the seating area, as you can see. So as Tom's already mentioned, the gas is under here in a little very tight compartment sure, sure, thing. I'll give yeah. you a quick look. There's the gas. All secure. Um, all secure. Oh, Tom, careful. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then we have another storage under here, which is split into two compartments. This is my little inside garden with all the vines. Lovely. And then under the bed, we also have storage. So the first bit is basically closed so we've got five ones of these the polka dot ones are mine and the cork ones are tons and then under here that's like food storage but obviously when we go away to europe you can't take a lot of things so actually i don't know if you want to cut that out or not because it's just a van tour no one needs to know a life story do they <laughs> well i will cut um, it out later. and and then here is for the table so the table's just behind Tom. So what we do is we get this big pole yep. and we whack that in so it's nice and secure. And then this is the little knob that I hand painted because uh, Tom was busy building the van and I wanted to get involved. And then we get the table and we just plod it on. And that is the little seating area That's that we've the got. Seating area. And then the next thing that we've got is the toilet and shower. So this is obviously also going to be a seat. We're just going to get some cushions made, but it's a bit harder. Um, and when you lift it up, you can see the toilet and then we have a portable shower as well. So we just take the portal loo out and we've got this portal shower. We haven't had a shower for a while in here. We usually just use campsites or something like that. But in emergencies, this is what we do. So we've got a big shower curtain with, <laughs> with some hooks. <laughs> what we do is we grab our hooks and we've actually got some other hooks which they connect into on the ceiling. So we've got four of them. So we've got this massive shower curtain which will be linked in the description below. And what we do is we get the hooks and hook them up as tight as we can. We then go in with our port of shower. We put that in, obviously it'll be full of water, half mixed with a kettle and half cold. So you get a nice warm shower. Bear with me, I've got a broken leg, so it's not mm. the easiest to step in at the moment, which is probably why I haven't had a shower in here. So then to find 
to finalise the shower curtain, we then hook up right across to the starting hook. <laughs> Where's Tom gone? And now this is the shower. So this will stop any water getting out or as much as possible. And I'll open it up so you can see me. And you just use get the your shower, kit off. Get the kit off and have a nice shower and get clean. So it's not the best, but it works for if you're wild camping or you've been swimming or you've been on a walk and you're sweating like on a day like today, it's good to be able to have a shower in your own van. And then what we have next is obviously we have the bed. So we decided to go for a standing bed just because it's easy to get in and out of and it's less faffy. So lovely little mattress that we've got here. We've got lights there which are battery operated if we go in in stealth mode and then we have this little compartment just for like knickers and makeup wipes and stuff like that a fire alarm and carbon monoxide alarm and then we also have two air vents so this is the cheaper one of the two so it has a little mozzy net thing and then it has like a little curtain that's a lifesaver in really really hot weather and then we have one just above where you are so this is a more fancier one as you can probably see so this is actually a skylight as well um works as an air vent which is good for the shower and good for cooking so we've also run led strip lights along the full length of the van up there and we've also run them along the kitchen up here so they create a nice bit of light and they can change colors so they're pretty nice to set the mood aren't they mm -hmm. uh, We've also got... <laughs> I like it shocked you then. <laughs> We've also got a heater which only works on electric hookup, but it is nice in winter if we're at a campsite. We don't have to have the hotter hot water bottles. I almost said hot air balloons. And I think, like you say, that is it in here. Oh! Shoe storage. So this is the boot, so underneath the mattress and the bed, we actually split it in half so we could have a bit of a dirtier area. As you can see, it is a bit mucky. So we put our awning, which I'll show you now. We've got an awning which we set up and we just put like chairs and tables and all that sort of thing under here. So thank you so much for watching our van tour. We, we hope have, you enjoyed it. We have also done a budget video on how much everything in this video costs so if you want to watch that it'll be linked in the corner and in the description and that'll tell you how much we spent on making this van fabulous so if you could like and subscribe that would be fantastic We'd very much appreciate but if you don't want to that's fine yeah no pressure no pressure from our end at all but you know that would be nice and it'd be good for you because we've got some exciting little trips coming up yeah we have actually and we think it'll be pretty good to watch we think well. it'll be entertaining we do to say the least yes so that's it for today nice little quick van tour hope you're having a cracking little day yourself i'll, I'll catch up with you soon all right <laughs>